Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a car slamming in out of building very easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all make sure you are at the very beginning of your clip and then go to composition. Then save frame as and select file. Click on output to and we have to save it somewhere on your drive. I will name it clean and then hit save and then hit render. Let's go back to our main composition and then open that folder where you have saved that Photoshop file and open it. In Photoshop select a remove tool and remove the car from a background. Once you are happy with the image and it's all clean, make sure to right click on that image here and select quick export as PNG. Let's rename it to clean and save it in the same folder. Now close Photoshop and go back to AE. Drag and drop the clean image into AE timeline and then cut the ending. In my case I want this effect to be 1 second long, so I will make clean layer 1 second long. Now drag your original clip forward like that and now we have a still image with no car in the original video. We will also need a still image of a car, so make sure to scroll to the very beginning of your original clip and then duplicate it. Now right click on duplicated one, go to time and select freeze frame. Move that duplicated layer above clean PNG and make sure to overlap it like that. Cut the ending of it as well and then let's grab a pen tool and mask the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, pre-compose that layer. Let's name it car only and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now we have a clean background and isolated car layer and it means we can begin making the effect. First let's scroll to the end of car only layer and then press P on your keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. Now hold shift and press S on your keyboard to expand scale and click on scale stopwatch icon as well. Scroll to the middle of car only layer and move car above the building like that. Also make the size slightly smaller by decreasing the scale. Now scroll to the very beginning of a car only layer and move the car down something like that. Let's pretend the car is behind the building. Also slightly bump up the scale something like that and we can check the effect. It looks weird for now, but we will fix everything. First of all let's select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Let's check it again. It looks way better, just make sure to enable motion blur on car only layer. Now let's make that car popping out right from behind the building. Let's duplicate clean PNG layer and then move it above car only layer and then rename it to building. Now we have to mask out the building, so make sure to grab a pen tool and mask it as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, we can check what it looks like now. As you see car pops out from the building, but then the car goes back there, to quickly fix it, scroll forward where the car is fully above the building and then simply cut the building layer till that moment. And that's it, now it looks a bit better and we still have to make some adjustments. Since it's a still image, the effect looks so weird because there is no motion or camera shakes, just a jumping car. To make it look 99% better, I will make a fake camera shake or wiggle effect. Let's create new camera layer. Name it wiggle and then if your settings are not the same, make sure to copy my settings and then hit OK. Now cut the camera layer and match it to a clean PNG layer's length. Now enable 3D on all layers you are working on, except your original clip. Let's enable motion blur as well. Now expand camera layers or a wiggle transform settings and then make sure to hold alt on the keyboard and click on orientation stopwatch icon. In the expression down here we can type, wiggle and then open round bracket, 5 comma, and 2. Let me explain what it means. If you play back the video, you will see the wiggle effect, or camera shake effect is ready and the values I have set to 5 comma and 2 is a speed of wiggle effect. You can take your time and find the best wiggle speed. Let's say if it's too much for you, you can change wiggle to 3 comma 2. If it still has too much movements, change it to 3 comma and 1 for example, and the wiggle will be smoother and slower. And as you see it's now slower, but I think 5 comma 2 was on point, I like the speed and it fits the effect properly and I don't want the shake to be so slow. Since we have a proper camera shakes, we can fake some more movements and we are done with the camera settings. Make sure you are at the very beginning of wiggle effect and then press A on your keyboard and then hold shift and press P. Now click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons. Now scroll forward where the car is visible like that and then grab a dolly cursor tool from camera tools and let's slightly zoom in like that. You can also press C on the keyboard to change camera tools, let's select a pan cursor tool and correct the position of a camera. Now let's scroll to the very end of a wiggle layer and then make sure to right click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons and select reset to reset the camera settings. Let's quickly check it. 
looks way better, but it's still weird, let's smooth the motion. Select all keyframes and then hit F9 on a keyboard, then go to graph editor, make sure curve type is set to edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Let's check it one more time. That's way better and smoother. So let's fix those black edges now. Select clean PNG layer and apply motion tile effect on it. Check mirror edges and then change output height and width to 200. And we are done, but we can make that effect look more outstanding with adding shake effects. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.